Hey everybody, I'm Jim, the Money Man. Today we're gonna look at a powerful new Monday feature currently in alpha release that I would call dynamic grouping. It's uh, currently known as group by column or board group by. <laughs> anyway, it's small but mighty. Uh, I will show you how to turn it on and what it can do for you. Let's take a look. So here we are in our fake customer support tasks board. And as many boards are, this one is grouped according to our workflow. So we have a group here for new items. We have stuff that we're working on after it's been assigned. Then we have things that have been completed and are going to be reviewed by a manager. And then once that happens, they get moved into this last group reviewed. So uh, if we had, this is a small board, but if we had hundreds or even thousands of tasks on this board, we might want to do some things that are a little bit different than what we see here. For example, I might want to be able to group these by the customer and look at the board that way. Or maybe I want to sort on columns and I want them to be sorted across the entire board with basically as though there are no groups at all. I'm gonna show you how to do that with one of the newest features of Monday, uh, currently in an alpha release state. It's called group by column or board group by. I think they haven't solidified exactly what name they want, but the first thing we wanna do is turn it on. So we're gonna come down here, click on our face, and then go to Monday Labs. At the very top, it, well, it may not be when you actually try it, but there's this board group by, and it's inactive, and we want to activate it. Once we do that, we can close this, and it's going to reload the board. And now you'll see here at the top that we have this new group by column feature. I can now just go in here and click on that. Let's say I want to look at it by customer. I'm going to click on that and now everything is grouped by customer. If I wanted now to eliminate the groups altogether, I'm going to show you how to do that. I added a column called text, which I put nothing in. And if I go down here and select text, it will show a blank since I don't have anything in it. So. This is now a group called blank, and my whole board is basically grouped together. That's the first two pieces, the biggest pieces. Now, we can select most of the different types of columns. We have text, status, dates, numbers, etc. Now, one thing we don't have is the ability to group by formula. If we had that ability, we could do some really cool dynamic grouping and anyway but that's not there. However, we do have this number here, which implies to me that it is likely that as this feature is advanced into beta and then general release, that we might get the ability to group by multiple columns at the same time. So that would be really cool. So one of the other features, I'm gonna go back to customer, one of the other features we have is we can save this as a new view. So I can click on that and I'm gonna make it short. I'll call it cust because I don't like to type in front of people. <laughs> okay, so now we have everything grouped by customer. These are not real groups. So if you wanted to have some kind of automation where a status changed, move them to a group or something like that, that would not be available. But there is another thing that is available that is kind of surprising to me, actually, but it, it does work. So I'm going to duplicate these items in this White Horse Electronics group. Oops. Let's duplicate those. And now I can move them to a different group, surprisingly, at least to me. <laughs> so notice now it moved it to the GGS group. And it changed the customer name because that's that's what we're grouping on. So kind of interesting that that's available. You can add, of course, filtering and sorts to this group. So now let's go back to our main table. I just want to show you here. 
everything is still grouped according to our normal groups. We haven't upset any of that, but when we click back here on our customer grouped view, we have the new groupings. One thing I do want to point out, this customer is a view. Everything in the Monday Labs is by user. When I change this, I'm not changing this for everybody. I'm changing it for me. If I was to sign on or another person was to sign on on their user ID, they would see this view. Whatever I have put in that view with filters and sorts and hidden columns, all of that would be associated with that view. However, unless they have the group by column also turned on, the actual group changes would not occur. That's the group by column or board group by feature. I think it's one of the coolest things since sliced bread. Have fun with it. Oh, and remember this is an alpha release. So that means that it could go away. It could change. Once things get to beta, it's usually a straightforward path of improvement, enhancement, that kind of thing. Thanks for joining us. I hope you find the new dynamic grouping features powerful. And if you have any feedback, I'd like to hear about how you're using it. Uh, put that in the comment. And if you have any suggestions on future videos you would like to see, please put that in there as well. All right. Till next time. I'm Jim, the Money Man.